I fell in love with hip hop when I was about like 15 or 16. But you know, at the same time, I was introduced to it at such a young age. My mom always used to jam like Lauryn Hill, Pac, Biggie, Jay Z. Jay Z was really my mom's favorite rapper, so I grew up on like a bunch of Jay Z stuff. So stuff like that, you know. And then as I got older and I started becoming friends with more hip hop fans, I started jamming like. Tribe, Nas, like stuff like that, you know, a lot of the older stuff that I never really delved into too much, but, you know, as I got to really understand what hip hop really is, then that's when I started to really try to make my craft around stuff like that, just because I, I really then understood that it is art, you know. Hip hop, for me, I could say came when I was around like 17, like really just jamming. I went back, like I went back and jammed like Reasonable Doubt, Illmatic, and uh, really because like the new stuff you heard, you always heard people like referring back to those albums, like even with the new stuff. So like for me to start listening to it, I had to go back to the, the roots, basically Tribe and De La Soul and souls of mischief and all that old stuff like i was bumped out on that so like for me hip-hop is like it's art you know like because for them they have like the classic boom bat beats but their flows and their energy on the tracks was just so different than like today's like even today you got guys that get hype on beats and you got you got the trap beats that they hit hard but like that essence of that good music, like, when you hear a good song that has good lyrics and good flows and just great vibes, it does something to you, like, you know all the words, like, it's songs I've heard that I've been like, you know, that was tight, like, but it was, you know, I couldn't rap through, like, none of it, you know, like, but, like, the good stuff, you just hear it, the beat comes on, and now you're just like flowing the whole song front to end, like so it's crazy, like. It's Being from Lafayette, when I when I was about 15 is when I started really recording my music. It's just from that point and just from before as a child, I really don't remember ever seeing such a any any much of a hip hop scene like a strong one at, at that. You know, there's a there was a little scene, you know, I saw, but not really strong as I obviously as it could be. You look at bigger cities and just places, different places, you know, the art of hip-hop is actually appreciated, and as you know, Lafayette is a cool city, it's just, it's lacking in a little bit of the cultural diversity that I knew it could have, and it's, it's growing, you know, nowadays the hip-hop scene is a lot better, there's a lot more shows, there's a lot more artists really trying to put themselves out there instead of just kind of being in a box and no having nobody to know about them, so it's cool, but... I really just, I see the potential that it could be, so, you know, I'm just going to keep striving. That's why I think, you know, if everybody could really just really sit down and appreciate hip-hop for an art form, then it would be, like, where it needs to be, especially in a small town like Lafayette or just any other city you could say that doesn't have much of a scene. It really just takes for the people, not just the artists, especially the artists, but not just limited to the artists, just all the people, like, just the people that live there and just like music, you know, they should look at hip-hop as art just as much as they would look at any type of rock music or reggae music or zydeco or whatever you might have, they just, hip-hop needs to be looked at in the same light as that because it's not, I mean, yeah, you know, of course, you know, you got the watered-down music, but a real hip-hop song, like, and that doesn't necessarily be, limit limit you to like old school 90s stuff, just a real hip hop song, you know, like you got like a J. Cole or a Kendrick Lamar or somebody like that, like you really, the beat is there, but it's really just building a story around that beat and telling a story that probably would have took, I mean, probably like who God knows how long and you telling that story with three minutes, three and a half minutes, three verses, maybe five minutes at most, you know, that's art, and you're telling it so creatively, and you paint like a deep picture, you might not even be saying that much words, it's just, I think people really need to learn to appreciate that 
as an art form rather than just something that's simple or easy because it's really not, you know? And I think if artists were appreciated more for that, then everything would change. People, their shows would have more turnouts and stuff like that and just everything would change. The culture would really thrive and people would, wouldn't would just be so quick to exclude hip hop from anything that they do, any event or just anything, you know? What I mean? So it's art, yo, it's an art form. It's something you look at and you interpret it in your own way. And like, I was, I'm born in New Orleans, like downtown, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of music there, like, a lot of music. And so you get influenced by, like, so much different stuff. There's a lot of gangster music, but at the same time, there's a lot of art, too, you know? There's, like, guys like J Electronica from New Orleans that are great. And then you got, on the other hand, you got other artists like the Bee Gees and the, the Juvies and stuff like that, you know, who dope as well, but they got their own, there's two styles in the game. And then, you know, so I came out here to Lafayette, it's like, there's a lot of great music out here as well, like, there's great artists, there's, but it's a different feel, you know, when it comes to the hip-hop. It's like a, it's like, it's like a stepchild or something, you know, it's like, there's no real hip-hop scene. It's like, there's artists that do hip-hop, but there's no scene for it. Like, you go to a Zydeco show, and it's crazy. It's 500, 1,000, 2,000 people out there. You, know, you go to the band shows, and they're crazy, like, they're packed, it's crazy, like, when you go to a hip hop show, it's not as much love. Like, there's no community for it. There's no community of people that really want to see the hip hop thrive. There's some. It's building. It's growing, but it's not. It's not there. Like, it's not something that anybody, an uh, up and comer, would just be so thrilled to be a part of because it's so hard for you to make a name in it. So that's my take on hip hop. Uh. I think, I think with some work though, I think if we do the right things, I think we could, uh, we could really change the tide of how hip hop works out here. Cause like, there are about, and I'm not limiting this to this, like there are a lot of people that's good, but I know for sure there are about 15 to 20 artists that like, really, if we all band together and we really you know, we really create something big, like, we could put hip-hop on the forefront in this city, so, y'all just stay tuned, because y'all gonna be hearing from those people very soon, so, I'm gonna just leave it at that, hip-hop is art.